at what point did you know that I of all and she had many suitors fine girl like this she had she had many suitors from America from Germany from Italy from, she had many suitors from everywhere in fact some of them I tell you they had more money than me she had many suitors right but how did you know at what point did you know that it was this guy is the guy and that you should marry me okay that's the question who is interested to know <laughs> <laughs> okay um you know the reason we are doing this is because i am sure that one or two persons will learn something from this you know and there's always that sign the truth is at the time the reason i took that one year was because there were other people and if i were to judge based on their status based on every other thing I, I i was going to choose them and that was i was really having a struggle within me i said i said god i know you promised me your own but can't it be this person because everyone knows i'm from anambra state i am Igbo. Yeah. so i was asking myself how would how would i walk up to my dad being the first daughter to tell him i want to go to the north to get married or i want to marry i want to get married to a cardinal state person so it didn't sit well with me I, I hadn't even discussed it with my parents but i knew it was a no you know another thing i said um god i told you i want a god-fearing man but not a pastor you know i had my you know, you know. You know? another thing i said mm, i want someone with six packs someone with dreadlocks someone with you know and someone I, with swag I had a very big one you know? <laughs> You know, so if I were to judge by everything I was seeing, it wouldn't have happened. But I, there was something I couldn't just take away. It was the peace I had. For those one year, each time we had any chance to see and talk, we could talk endlessly and we could share the Bible. I, each time I left, I left a new person. Each time I left, I was... Um, I learned something more so it was a river i always wanted to go and drink from he was improving me spiritually improving me physically he kept on asking me so what is the next stage of your life what do you want to do next um what are your goals so he kept on he made sure that every aspect of my life was improved my spiritual life he gave me passages of the bible he said read read the book of john you'll get to know christ so we sit down on the table and we talked all the time and for me that was the deal breaker for me because i didn't see it in other people the other guys would want to take from you but each time i came to him my cup was being filled and and he was interested in my future he was interested in everything i did my career he always asked me questions about that so and one thing is the peace the peace i had was was tangible i could feel it you know there are people you are with and each time you leave their presence you're disturbed something just leaves you there is something about it and the funny thing was i asked the holy spirit i said show me the sign that this person is meant for me do you know the thing between that one year he kicked out every single person and he was the only man standing so by that december when i said okay i think i'm ready there was no other person god had a way of just kicking them out individually and he was the only one standing and god asked me he said what else are you looking for he, this man has proved himself for you he's been patient he's improved you he's he has ticked all your all your um he has checked all ticked all your checklist your boxes, right yeah. all your boxes so what are you looking for i said mm, one more thing how can he have six packs for me now like how can i change him you know because it was a big deal for me <laughs> we're getting there right we're, <laughs> we're not where we used to be but the thing is one thing i love about him is that he's a teachable person he's a teachable person and the holy spirit dropped in my heart and said teach him he will hear he will listen because he's my son talk to me for him and because he's my son i will speak to him and i remember that day in fact one of the things that made me um it would made the process very fast for me he called me i was at work he said do you know what i've gone to i'm at the hospital now i said what are you doing at the hospital are you sick he said no he said i'm checking i'm doing my profile i'm checking my weight my this i'm going on a weight loss journey right now i just want to be better for you i want to be good for you i want to be all you want and i never spoke to him about it i just told god that the only thing on this checklist now is six packs so do you understand and for some reason 
he cued into it and told me, I am going to lose this weight for you because I know this is what you love. So first thing is, the peace I had with him was tangible. If you're with someone and each time you leave the person, you lose your peace, the person is not the one. If you're with someone and the person is not a teachable person, the person is not the one. If you're with someone and you're not being improved on a daily basis, your spiritual life is not growing, you're not growing physically, the person is not concerned about your future, about your career, the person is not willing to hold you by the hand and take you to the next level, the person is selfish. If you're with someone and the person is not a selfless person, the person cannot put you ahead before themselves, then the person is not the person. 